What is going on guys? Welcome to your second UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about navigation, how to move around our 3D world. So before I even get started with that, I want to mention this. Whenever you first open the UDK, your computer screen may or may not look like my computer screen right now. If it looks like this and you have one big window right here, fine, leave it like that. But if your computer screen looks like this and you have four big boxes on your screen and this one is, you know, minimized to the bottom left, we want to change that. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to maximize this view right here. I'm not going to be talking about what all these menus and buttons mean. I'm going to be covering all these buttons in the upcoming tutorials. But for now, for the sake of this tutorial, just follow along with what I tell you to do. In the top right corner, you're going to see this little square right here. Go ahead and click that. And by the way, if you guys are just itching to know, these big boxes right here are called viewports. They're basically different views or different angles from which you can view your object. So, you know, I know you guys are probably itching to know what those big boxes were. So, we're going to be working in this one right here. So, go ahead and click this button right here. And this is going to maximize this view. It's exactly like maximizing a window if you, you know, use Windows. So, now that we have this view maximized, we can begin learning how to navigate around our viewport. So before I even get started with that, you're going to mention, you're going to see one thing. First of all, this view is pretty boring. It's just a red cube and, you know, a bunch of black and blue lines. Not very exciting. So let's go ahead and get something more exciting to work with. Now, whenever you downloaded and installed the UDK, it came with a bunch of maps. Now, these are maps that we didn't build. These are maps that whoever made the UDK, they build them. So let's go ahead and use a map, and then we can, you know, learn navigation in that instead of this huge black world with blue lines and, you know, a red box. It's a lot more exciting. So in order to open a map, go ahead and go to File, Open, and by default, it's going to give you the list of maps that come with the UDK. It doesn't really matter what map you choose, and you might not even have this map because depending on what version of the UDK you downloaded, you may have different maps, but go ahead and open any map. My favorite map is VCTF Necropolis, so I'm going to go ahead and hit open to open that. And as you can see, we get this new cool looking map a lot better than, you know, that black world. So again, like I said, I'm not going to be covering what any of these buttons do in this tutorial, but I want you to click this one button right here with the G on it. This means game mode. So before you click that, you probably noticed that this mode right here has a bunch of lines in it and has a bunch of lights and this is kind of the designer view. We don't need the designer view for the sake of this tutorial. We're just learning how to move around. So go ahead and hit this G button and as you can see, we have now entered game mode. This is what someone would see if they were playing the game. So now that we have our view maximized and we're in game mode, we can begin learning what I finally wanted to teach you guys in this tutorial and that's navigation, how to move around this cool map, how to move around the 3D world. So the first thing I want to teach you guys is the left mouse button. What happens when you hold it? What happens when you drag it? Go ahead and click your left mouse button and drag it up and drag it down and drag it to the left and drag it to the right. As you can see, what the left mouse button does whenever you click it and drag it, it allows you to move around kind of in a flat plane, kind of like if you're walking or driving a car, or it basically allows you to move left, right, forward, and back. So that's what the left mouse button does whenever you hold it. So now let's go ahead and venture over to the right mouse button. Whenever you hold down the right mouse button and start moving around with your mouse, it's basically like this. If you were standing in one place and your feet were glued to the ground and you were holding a camera, you could turn that camera in any direction, you just couldn't move. You can't move forward, backward, you can't move left, right, up and down. You can only stay in one place. So it's basically like staying in one place and turning your head. So again, the left mouse button allows you to move forward, back, left and right and the right mouse button allows you to change the angle of the camera just like that. So you're saying alright that's nice and all but that leaves us with a couple things. First of all how do I move up and down? Well I use my left mouse button and right, right mouse button I'm kinda running out of buttons here in order to move up and down what you need to do is you need to hold the left mouse button and the right mouse button at the exact same time and scroll up and scroll down. 
So that's how you move up and down. You hold the left and right mouse button at the exact same time and check it out. We are now moving up and down. So again, left and right at the same time allow us to move up and down and if we move right and left, we kind of pan left and right. So what I think of whenever I'm using this mode is if my face is pressed against a glass window, I can't go forward or backward. I can only press it and I can move my head up, down, left and right. I can't go through the glass or anything. So that's kind of what I envision whenever I'm using this mode. So with that being said, that takes care of all the mouse buttons basically. Your left mouse button goes forward, backward, and turns left and right. So it basically allows us to go anywhere on a flat plane. The right mouse button allows us to change the angle. Both mouse buttons at the same time allow us to move up and down and also pan left and right. So with those mouse buttons and those combination of buttons, we could basically move anywhere we want to move. However, if you guys have ever played the game Unreal Tournament or maybe you played, let me think what other game, World of Warcraft uses this too, you may prefer an alternative style of navigation. You may be familiar with the WASD navigation. Now, th this navigation allows you to use the WASD keys on your keyboard to move around. But before you start clicking those keys, remember th this one thing. Anytime you want to use the WASD navigation, you need to have your right mouse button held in. And now, let me go ahead and hold W, we move forward. If we hold S, we move backward. If we hold A, we move to the left. And if we hold D, we move to the right. And again, like I said, this is all with my right mouse button held down. Right now I have my finger on my right mouse button. I know you guys can't see it, but trust me, it's there. So if you prefer this style of navigation, it's kind of like flying around or, you know, oh yeah, that's it, just flying around. You can do that. So again, don't forget to hold the right mouse button on your uh, mouse. So with that being said, you're saying, all right, what happens if I don't hold the right mouse button? Well, let's go ahead and click W right now without holding the right mouse button check out what happens everything disappears so before you freak out and think that you messed up your graphics card in your computer or you know your computer's freaking out or something W is actually a hotkey for something called hide static meshes and it basically means hide 3d models that's all I'm gonna tell you for net right now but just remember this W is a hotkey and it means something totally different in the UDK so Make sure whenever you accidentally click W using this style of navigation, don't freak out. It just means that, you know, you forgot to hold the right mouse button. So again, to recap one last time, in order to move around our 3D world, we can use the mouse buttons. The left mouse button goes forward and back, left and right. The right mouse button allows us to change the angle. Holding them both at the same time allows us to move up and down and pan left and right. And if we hold the right mouse button, we can use WASD to move around our 3D world, just a different style of navigation. So there you go, there you have it. That's all I'm gonna cover with navigation. There's a couple other tricks with navigation, but I'm gonna save those when we get into you know more advanced modeling. So for now, those are the basics, that's how you move around. So thank you guys for watching. Again, go and practice. That's the only way you can perfect this. It's gonna take some getting used to, but trust me, you'll get the hang of it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.